Jenny. Welcome to River Jordan International Ministries, our home of breakthrough. Our mission is to fight the kingdom of darkness that is swallowing the children of God. Our focus is on the family unit to ensure love, peace, prosperity, and reconciliation of broken marriages. We also focus on deliverance from bloodline patterns. For prayers and further inquiries, feel free to contact us on the numbers that are displayed on your screen. Now we have reached that part where we are going to hear the word of God from our senior pastor, prophetess, Agnes Nyafono. Be blessed. Amen. This is the time we are ready for the word of God. We are going to hear the word of God. We are going to receive the message. We are in time of the presence of God right now. Uh, let us look at book of James. Book of James. Book of James chapter 4 verse 3. Amen. Amen. We are going to look at the, the message which talking about talking about when you ask from God. When you ask from God how to receive and how do you ask from God? Amen. Amen. So now, the book of James chapter 4 verse 3 said, And when you ask, you do not receive it, because your, your motivation are bad. Hallelujah. Amen. You ask for things that to use for your own pleasure. Hallelujah. Amen. We can see that most of the time children of God when they ask for something from God it passes them. They don't receive. Know that God does not answer their prayer. They don't receive because of the way they ask. The way they approach the throne of God. The way they present themselves to God. It's what matters. Hallelujah. Amen. When you ask something from God you have to show that really you ask something from God and when God give it to you it is you to share with somebody else. You have to share with the people and you don't ask for it because you want it for being a proud person among the others hallelujah amen. that alone it brings this thing of blocking our prayer and unanswerable prayer in our prayer amen. amen and when that's happening to our lives we start blaming god i have been prayed i don't see the answer i have cried for god i don't see the answer i have fasted i don't see the answer it does not mean god does not want to answer your prayer you are asking things for your own motivation you are asking things for your pleasure for if God bless you, you're going to use it for your own doing. Amen. Amen. God does not work like that, student of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let us look at book of Psalm 66 verse 18. Hallelujah. Amen. If I, hallelujah, the Bible says if I had a charity in a sin, hallelujah, Amen. in my heart, the Lord would not have listened to my prayer, would not have listened to you, would not have to listen to your request. Hallelujah. Amen. That alone, it will not please God. Why? Because of the way you ask, because of what you have in your heart, because of what you present before God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Let us go. But God has surely listened and heard my voice in the prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. God had done what? Had really heard your prayer, heard you cry, and listened to what you are crying for, and listened to you what you are asking him, and paid attention to what you are saying before him. Hallelujah. Amen. But the point is, did you receive what you asked from God? Did God answer your prayer? Yes, you prayed to God. But what happened? Why you did not receive the prayer answered? Why you prayed the same thing a years and a years and a years? You seeing you are praying for one thing, there is no answer on that. Here you are sick. You are praying for the sickness to leave. I mean, you need healing, but you cannot receive healing. Know that God does not hear your prayer. God hear your prayer very well. But how you prayed and how you asked for that, it is what is matter before the throne of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 50, Isaiah 59, verse 2. It is because 
of you sin that he does not hear you. Hallelujah. Yeah. When we go before the Lord Jesus, there are things that we consider. There are things that you need to look at in you. It does not include somebody else. It is in you when you pray to God, God paying attention to you that you are praying. It does not look at anybody else. You need to present yourself and you need to be pure before the Lord God. Why? Why? Because of the sin that you have in you, God will not listen to you. Why? And why do you have the sin inside you, iniquity, and you don't want to present it out before God? And there you are rushing, you want God to answer your prayer. You are rushing, you want God to take the sickness away. You are rushing to ask for God to give you what you want, a new job, a life, a life partner. You ask all that from God, but in you are not pure. You haven't yet been purification. You haven't yet been repentance. Hallelujah. Amen. Confession does matter to children of God. Everybody, all of us, we need to do that. Why? Because we seek God. We need connection with God. And we need to receive the prayer answer. We need to see God through in what we ask, in what we need. If we don't do that, we will not. Our prayer will always delay. And there will be complaint and reported that God does not answer. I walked. I visited the churches. I changed the churches. I go where. Prophet touched me. Prophet prayed for me. But I am the same person. It's not the prophet's fault. It's not the fault of the pastors. This is you. You are the one God look. Look in, in your inner part, inside you. You are the one God is searching. Uh, because, listen, you knew that you want something from God. There was nobody to, to represent you before the Lord, to take your case before God. No, you went alone and you stood. You said, I need to pray to my Lord to answer my prayer. Fine. But did you think of the iniquity sits inside you? There is a sin that had a place inside your heart. I mean, that alone you will call upon God of Israel, the giant God, the God of Israel, will never and will be quiet, will close the heaven, and you will speak and speak years and years and years, child of God, and there will be no answer for you. Not that God hates you, still love you, but repent. Hallelujah. Amen. Repent, child of God. Ask forgiveness. Ask for what you have done. Yes, someone has wronged you. You have wronged yourself as well. You even did sin develop, self-developing sin. You have done it for your own self. Do repent. Ask God to forgive you, and then you'll be set free. You will receive the answer. Soon as you've done that, get ready to receive marvelous things and miracle things. I mean, wonderful things for the answer of your prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. There we are going ahead right now. We are going ahead. Yes, because of how your heart it is. God could not hear you. Hallelujah. If you sin, ah, that separates you from God. When you cry, when you try to worship him, the Lord God of Israel, he will keep silent. He will keep silent. So here's the key. You need a prayer from God, right? You have a problem, right? We know, and you know very well how much you worship God. You go to church. Every Sunday you are there to pray. Every Sunday you are there to present the God, the good thing God has done for you. For these 70 days, you work from Monday until Saturday, Sunday, you are going to church to worship God. Fine, which is very good. But go when you are pure, child of God. Present your case before God. Look at who you are. Be clear. Be clean before God. If there's something like that, if there's something wrong with you, if there's something wrong with somebody behind you, you need to know that now, right now, I am pure. I need to speak to God and tell God what I want. But if there's something like inside you, you know, there's a mark, a drop of a mark in you, holding your heart tighty, you could not forgive. Somebody had wronged you. You have it in your heart, and here you are going to church every Sunday. Somebody had killed somebody. You know the person. You could not forgive that person. You have it in your heart. Somebody broke your heart. Somebody did something that is against your life. You hold that thing, and you go with it before the Lord, and you ask for something. God of Israel will keep quiet for you, child of God. Now, right now, whatever we're saying, I came before, I present myself, I give the message, which is written in the Bible, that you that you feel such a thing in your life, you that you have that in your heart, please, 
Take your mind out. Plead for the blood of Jesus to cleanse you. Plead for the blood of Jesus. Call for the repentance. Go in a secret place. Have a chance to talk to God. Speak to God. Tell God, God, I am a sinner. I've done A, B, C, D before you people. I've done A, B, C, D before who you are. I've done A, B, C, D before the family. Have mercy in me, God of Israel. Look upon me. The Lord will surely forgive you. And there is a one thing that children of God, they have to know. The sin that had already been forgiven and been washed with the blood of Jesus. God will never for remember that again anymore. He will let go of it. And you will be pure. And you will be stand and an angel before the Lord and speak to God in anything you want from God. Hallelujah. Amen, Amen to the Lamb of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, we are going to look at, we are still in the, in the, in the verses. We are still reading the Bibles. Amen. Amen. All right, we are going to the book of John. We are reading book of John. We are reading book of John 9, 31. Hallelujah. Amen. We know. This is we know. Not God knows. The message and the word of God. You know, we are the word of God. We release the message that God put in our mouth. You, when you speak the words, you speak the word of God. The word of God are inside you. It's not in inside anybody. When we talk about that, we, meaning you, you know who you are exactly. Hallelujah. Amen. You know who you are exactly before the Lord God. Amen. Amen. So the Bible says, in the book of John 9, 31, we know that God does not. God does not keep. God does not want. God does not take any iniquity. Amen. Amen. He doesn't do that. Hallelujah. Amen. He does not listen to the sinners. The Lord God of Israel, he does not listen to the sinners. Why are you still still sinning and you're going to the worship place? Why are you still sinning and you call yourself a Christian? Why are you still sinning and you present yourself before the altar of God, praying, worship, giving offering, paying tithe, paying seed? You see it is for yourself. It's not for God of Israel. Children of God, let us open our ears and let us know who you are when you come before the Christ Jesus. What does the Christ expecting from you? What exactly he expecting from you? And you, when you go to church, what do you expect from the church? You cannot go inside the prayer places and you come out from the prayer the same person. doesn't work like that. Soon as you go inside the prayer, you come out different. Soon as you attend the prayer, you come out different. Either you are in the house, either you are in the worship place, the church, wherever you are, when you go in, expect to be changed person. Expect a new person. Expect to be a different person. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what we are. But here you go today, which is Sunday, and then tomorrow you are still the same. I mean, Monday now you are the same person, child of God. Something is wrong with you. It is not with the God of Israel. It is not with Jesus. It is not with anything to do with the kingdom of heaven. It is wrong with you, child of God. You need to repent. You need to look at your back and ask yourself, what's really wrong? What am I doing wrong? Do I follow everything that the Bible speaks about? Do I do everything that needed to be done? Oh, no. You need to ask that question for yourself. Why do you need this? Here's the thing. You are going to church, you are paying offering. You are offering vanish. You are going to church, you are paying tithe. You are tithe, vanish. You are going, you paying the seeds. You actually seeding. You are very good at seeding. But what does your seed do? Nothing. Why? Because of what you carry inside you. The seed speak for each and every child of God who seed. You seed should speak for you. You tithe should speak for you. You offering should speak for you. And if there you see all these things you're doing and there's no changes in your life, question is yours. It is yours. It is in you, not before God. It is in you, not with God. You need to ask a question within you. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What are you carrying? Do you worship a living God? Are you worship Jesus? Are you the follower of Jesus? Are you a good newser, a child of God? Are you spreading it out there? Or when you come in the house, the first thing you do is to start fight with everybody in the house. I mean, you're from the church, but today you came back inside, you are not, and you are not the same person. I mean, from the door, you open the door, there is a fight. 
a child of God, the Lord God of Israel, is a pure God. He said that as I am holy, so you are supposed to be holy as well. If we are not holy, you are lying. Here's the thing. You are lying, but that lying, the first thing you are lying to, your own self. You are not lying to God. You are not lying to anybody around you. You applying the lies upon yourself. That is you, and that is who you are. Why? Because you're doing it yourself. And you don't want to speak it out. And you don't want to take it and speak it and say, God, I ABC that happened. Please have mercy. I am a child. I'm a child. I don't know ABC. Teach me what you want me to do. Let me know where should I pass and where should I go, God. He will hear you. He will hear you. If you don't know how to pray, learn how to pray. Why don't you even ask a question about that? Now, God, when I go to pray, I only take five minutes, I've done. Fine. Ask God for a more of anointing. He has more that more that you even need. He will pour the anointing of that. And then you will receive more double. Then you'll be speaking like you are speaking. Machine is speaking right now. When you are praying, child of God, don't keep quiet. Don't keep quiet. Because when you are praying, you don't pray for yourself alone. You pray for other people as well. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes, here we are going. We are going to look at the book of Zechariah 7, 11 to 13. Hallelujah. Amen. Zechariah 7, 11 to 13. What is he saying? But my people are so stubborn. That's the Lord God speaking. But my people, my children, the one I've chosen them, the one I've given them life, I created them, I've given them separate life, I've given them separate thing in their life, the soul, the spirit, what they have is what I have. But they're so, so stubborn. Unlistenable people. Unlistenable children. Today you kill, tomorrow you're going back again. Today you kill and you stand, you go to the altar, you ask forgiveness, after that you go back again. Today you steal, today you come back, you went to the altar, they pray again, you go back again. I mean, right now you had a fight in the house. I mean, right now you do things that God could not look. God is a holy God. God is a holy God that he needs us to be holy. We all need to present who God is. If we are presenting ourselves, then we are lying to ourselves. Right there, when something happened to you, child of God, you may run to the room. You may run to the, anywhere you can just say you are going to pray. You will never and you will not see your answer there and then. Not because God doesn't hear. It's because of what you have. And he said to us very well, you cannot put light together with the darkness. One has to live and leave one another. And there one will stand and be a work through work in your life. So let us look at ourselves, children of God. Let us consider that. Let us hear our soul thirsty. Let us hear our spirit. What does our spirit tell us? Who are you before God? Do you check the throne? Do you knock and the door open for you? When you knock, really, do Jesus open for you the door? Do you hear the voice of God? You don't hear that. Why? Because you don't pay attention to God. The moment you are praying, there is a lot of things you present ahead of you. You are praying right now, music is playing ahead of you, aside of you. You are playing right now, somebody is crying on your bed. You are playing right now, you are actually planning to go and break someone's house. What do you expect God to do? Do you expect God to give you a message? Do you expect God to answer you? He will not answer you. He will not answer you that way. He will not answer you that way. Because in heaven, there are only holy people. And being a Christian, here's the thing. Do not think, if you speak about I am a Christian, you remain here. No. No, 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 no. no. You already been separated with the earth. You already been separated with the world. You don't belong to this world. You belong to the heaven. Anything you do, child of God, it has to represent the heaven. Anything you do in this as other children, as a Christian, it has to represent the heaven. Don't do it for somebody. Don't do it because you want somebody to look at you. Don't do it because you want sympathy from the people. No. God doesn't work like that. Yes, we know he loves us. But do not take advantage of the love of God upon your life. If you do that, then you are killing your soul and your spirit. Be reality to the Lord God. Speak. 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 
exactly what you want God to do to you. Speak exactly where and who and what are you doing and where you are and what you belong and what you are doing. You are asking for God to give you a job. He gave you and you did not maintain the job. You lost the job, you're going to start complaining. There are a thousand people walking out there that don't have a job. But you came and you prayed, or they prayed for you. And God gave it to you. But you cannot sustain that. You don't have it in you. Your manner is destroying the office that have been given it to you in your hands. The behavior you have, take away everything from you. Change, child of God. For if we don't change, the time is going for us. We need change in us. We need the purification in our heart. Because God needs our hearts. God look at our hearts. There's nothing else. If we don't do that, then it will take us so long time. Right now you would have been a person who prayed for people, for your family, for what you want, the company, the money you are having right now, somebody sick around you. All that, it was not given to the pastor alone. You were given that. You have that. The authority and the right, that authority is not in the hand of Pastor alone. It is in you and in your mouth and you speak. Because when you speak, you speak the word of God. Hallelujah. You follow him and there will be life. So be a light in the family where you are. Be a real children. Be a real child before God. Be the people God always look upon. Be among those. Don't dress well and go to church because you're going to please other people. It doesn't work like that. It does not work like that. God loves you as much as you could see how ugly, how beautiful you are. He loves you like that. He had put a great thing. There is a great grace, potential things that best in you that did not give it to anybody else. He had given it to you alone. And now you are destroying that. You don't want to use it in the right way. You are just spreading it in the wrong way. Please, child of God, come back. Come back to the house of God. Come back. Seek the first love. Seek the first love. Knock to the door. Speak to him. He will open for you. Whatever you are seeing in your face, you hear, you feel. It will go away. You will not remain the same. You will receive your new life. He will renew you. It doesn't matter what people are told to talk about you. It doesn't matter how they have rejected you. It doesn't matter where you have reached. It doesn't matter where you have gone. How many that have beaten you, spoke on your back. No. They are blessed. You need to know that. You are blessed. Because of what you are, it made them doing that to you. They cannot do what you are doing. So don't sit back. Don't backslide. Stand up and say, God, I am alive and I'm here. You give me this life. And as you give it to me, nobody else have it. It is me, me alone. So pray to God, expecting your life to be a different life. Expecting your life to change people. Expecting your life to be a, a news, to be something people will be talking again and again and again because they know where you're beginning and where you are right now. It will be amazing for them. It's a news everywhere people will be going because of what God has done in your life. Oh, yeah. Glory to God. I thank God for that. May the Lord be with everybody. I mean, whatever you are right now, it is the time I would just love to pray. Amen. I wanna, gonna, I'm going to go ahead with you in a prayer. Whatever you listen, whatever you do, give yourself a minute. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't mind about what you're feeling. Don't mind what you're passing through right now. Don't mind what is ahead of you, child of God. Forget about that. Pay attention to the Lord. Pay attention to the word of God. The prayer is the prayer when we do the earth check. Whatever you are going through there, remember, you have the authority above. You have the right upon that. So right now, I'm coming with a prayer. I want you to get ready with me. I want you to prepare yourself. Say today you are in the prayer and that problem, that sickness, 
those people, the loan that makes you sick and cry, the womb that putting you in the house always complain, the marriage that you cannot keep and you cannot have it, shout of God, you are the greater one. No, they may be taking that marriage away, but you are alive. Meaning you can still fight. You can stand on your ground and say, no, this is mine. Nobody's taking it away from me. And you do the prayer. I'm ready with you. The money that you took and has been eaten, you cannot get it. And if you know that somebody did it from you, or the devil came and steal it away from you, right? You're going to get it back in the name of Jesus. I mean, the womb that you're complaining with it, you cannot sleep, you cannot conceive. No, you will sleep. You will conceive. You will conceive in the name of Jesus. You're going to have a child. You're going to be a kana that anyone will sing with your name. You are going to be a mother of the princess. You are going to be a mother of the kings. You are not going to be a mother, an ordinary mother. God is going to give you the blessed one. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Those papers that you are trying to prepare and you organize, you try to look for things that you want, the job you apply, the money you apply, you go to the bank, everything you want, does not come out. Today, it will come out. Amen. Hallelujah. No, we will drag them. We are taking them away where they belong and you will remain yourself. You will remain on your ground that they did took away. They will bring it back right away in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray right now. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, God of Israel, mighty God, I come before you with the prayer, mighty God of Israel, that I pray for those that have suffered, mighty God. I pray for those that have cried before you. I pray for those that have tried to knock you down, but there there is no answer. There there is no way where they can pass and reach you, mighty God of Israel. The enemy had prepared a path that come and lead them into it, mighty God. Today, as I'm praying with them right now, Jehovah, that the road that path that the enemy had made and leading them to that road. Father, I close that door in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, I pray for the women that they cannot conceive Jehovah. May their womb from right now, whatever holding their womb, the Bible said that every woman, they will conceive and multiply in number. And you are the same. You don't see anybody to speak with. You don't see anybody to play with in your house. Wherever you are, I pray for you now, child of God. May the Lord bless you with a child. May the Lord give you a kid. May the Lord touch your womb. May the Lord bless you with a boy. That boy, that boy that will lift your name in a family. That boy, that boy that will call you tomorrow, mama. That boy, that boy that will come and hold your hands. If there is a problem, you are going around. I mean, you are crying. He will be there to comfort you with your God. Hallelujah. We pray for those people who have their paper, they have tried to look for a job, they have tried to apply for things. Every time you are applying, the office is always closing for you. When you are going there looking for your name, they will say, we cannot find your name. Right away, I said, leave the paper in the name of Jesus. I command that to be released in the mighty name of Jesus. I said, the devil, get out in the mighty name of Jesus. May children of God receive their blessing. Oh, yes, the blessing that has been given to them. I speak life in their business. I speak life in their paper. That from now on, when they step away, like leaving the house, going out, they have to receive their blessing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I speak with that one. You are so oppressed because of people. I mean, you are so oppressed, you can't even talk, you can't even eat. You are in the room, like feeling the world has left you. No, you are not alone. That the devil, that is Satan, I said to him, live in the mighty name of Jesus. Go away from children of God. Live in the name of Jesus. I command you never to ask you, but I said, get out and go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, son of the living God. Father, I pray right now for a woman, you that you've been crying for your husband, and he's been tormenting you, but you don't want to leave him because of what you have with him, because of how you begin with him. I pray for you, child of God, right now. Don't feel sad. The Lord had heard your cry. The Lord has answered your prayer. The Lord has poured anointing. The Lord has blessed you now. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will come back and you will be happy. He will love this time. He will comfort you. He will call you my love, never to leave you again. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the son of the living God. Father, we pray. Amen. Jehovah, anybody who raised the dust in the eye of your children to mess with their life, to turn 
turn their life up and down. Jehovah God of Israel in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray right now, let that dust get back and turn to them in the name of Jesus. Father, whatever the darkness that placed, piling of the dark cloth upon your children, God of Israel, I pray right now, may that that thick darkness be tears in the mighty name of Jesus, God of Israel. And I pray, God, for the peace. I pray, God, for healing. To be scared of anybody. Don't give a devil a home. Don't give a devil a room. Don't let them come at your home and start lying to you. Be bold. Stand on the ground. He has given the right, the authority over everything. Take away the fear. The spirit of fear it should go away and leave you. Be yourself with God. May the Lord Jesus be with you. May he always be ahead of you. Tonight, let him shadow you. Let him shadow you with his, his spirit. May you feel him around you. May you see him in all that. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, be God. We pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Now, for those who have not yet received Jesus Christ as their Savior, please, right now, I would love to pray with you. Wherever you are, please receive him. This is your day. This is your time, child of God. It matters a lot for you to accept him, for you to receive him. It does a lot in our life. You will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. How about that? It's a great thing to do. A lot of people there, they don't have it. But you today, you are going to receive him in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, son of the living God. Yes, I'm just going to pray with you right now. I hope you are ready for the prayer. I hope you are ready to receive Jesus Christ as your Savior. Are you there? Are you ready? Can we go with the prayer? Leave everything you do. Just give a minute. Just five minutes with God is enough. Five minutes for you is enough to change everything in your heart. Everything in your heart. Everything in your house. Everything that you need is going to be done. Amen. Lord Jesus, I have accepted you from today. Be the Savior of my life. Have opening my mouth and accept you in the mighty name of Jesus. I am a child of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. All right, we are here right now. We have done with our prayer of today. I thank you all. May the Lord bless you wherever you are. I really blessed you and I really pray blessed upon your life wherever you are. You need to experience the power of God on your life. All right, we are home of breakthrough. We, you can follow us if you want to follow us. You can find us on the Facebook. You can find us on, the, uh, on YouTube. You will find us there. Our telephone number, you find it down there. You can call us for the prayer. You can tell us your problem. We will always pray with you over that. And then the Lord will touch you. The Lord will heal you. Don't feel small. Don't feel shy. Be free to call. Be free to speak. Be free to send our WhatsApp number. You will find there. Please tell us what is wrong with you. Tell us. Ask for the prayer. We will put you in a prayer. Amen. Amen.